RSL Insider presented by at and I'm your host, Brian Dunseth. Real Salt Lake finishing up their final training session ahead of Saturday night's game against Toronto FC. Had the opportunity to catch up with Jason Christ, Chris Winger, and Chris Schuler. not only about the result in Dallas, the 1-1 draw, but how tricky the test is against Toronto this weekend. Coming off the last three games, what's the team's mentality, especially getting that point on the road and having a back-to-back -back second 45 good performances? Yeah, I think it was a, a positive outcome for us, you know. Um, coming off of two losses, we wanted to make sure that we got a good result and, and performance, not just the result, but, uh, you know, tough first half for us, but to come out in the second half and play pretty well, I uh, felt like we deserved the goal, and to get out of there with a point is... Uh, is a good thing and we're ready to move on and get back to a couple home games. What we've been lacking in the last two games is any type of uh, solid start. Uh, although I would say against Dallas I thought we were pretty bright for the first 15 minutes. They didn't touch much of the ball but we just lacked a little bit of killer instinct still. Uh, and Typically we have that at home so, so maybe just the, the right remedy is to get us in front of our own fans um, and hopefully the, the spirit tomorrow night and the, the passion from the, from the crowd will win over the group and we can start off really really positively. Toronto FC a team that hasn't won a game yet this season um, some difficulty in the press talking about the head coach from the ownership perspective how tricky of a test is it to play a team that's kind of back against the wall? Very tricky I think we got to make sure that we're not getting complacent and I have a feeling we're going to be talking about that in a few minutes when we do our scout um, you know we just got to make sure that we're on our toes and we're bringing a lot of energy especially coming off a couple games on the road a midweek game uh, if we come out and we're lazy um, and slow at the beginning, then it could be a lot of trouble for us. So we got to bring a lot of energy, uh, make sure we hop on them from the start. They're a team with their backs against the walls, and they're going to come out and give everything because they don't have another option. You know, uh, you get this deep into the season without a win, you, you're you're going to do anything you can to get a result, and I'm sure we'll see a lot coming from them tomorrow. Again, I think our best uh, our best defense in this case will definitely be having the ball in their half. If we're able to possess the ball for long stretches of time, that's going to keep them away from our goal, limit their set pieces, which they're very dangerous on, um, and increase our chances of, of hopefully banging one in the first half. So, um, you know, the, the more we can do that, get up and press in their end, and then knock the ball around, the better off we'll be. From watching their last game against Chicago, they, they created a bunch of chances and scored some fantastic goals. So they have very dangerous players um, in, their, in their top three forwards, uh, as well as some midfielders joining in. So um, they, can, they can get at you. So we need to be prepared for that. And um, we need to approach this game with the right mentality. And for me, it's, it's all about us.